Hello, I'm Jessica, and thank you so much for joining me for another workout. Today, you don't need any equipment other than your chair, a counter, something stable and sturdy to hold you up, as we're gonna be working on a little bit of balance today while we improve strength in our feet, ankles, legs, and some leg and thigh toning. Go ahead, if you haven't already, click that subscribe button before we head into the warm up, and we'll get right into the workout. Awesome job getting set up. Let's go ahead, roll into the warm up. Just quick, easy movement. Get blood flowing through the muscles, circulate some oxygen. We're just gonna take this nice, easy march here. Move those arms. We will not be using the upper body today, but I want you to become active through those core and ab muscles. A lot of our stabilization comes from the trunk of the body as well as the foundation, so feet and ankles today, but I want them working and communicating with these core muscles and improving the connection in the body through your two major balance systems. Easy kicks forward here. You have your chair today. Anytime that you need it during our balance challenges, it's here, you reach out and grab it. Just be sure to hang on to it as little as needed. If you're putting all of your body weight and looking to the chair to give you a lot of support, you may slow down your progress on improving your balance, which we definitely want your balance to stay nice and challenged today. That's part of the goal. I want you to improve your balance. I want those leg muscles nice and strong, hips nice and strong, low back safe and protected, ankles and feet growing stronger as well. Widen it down here, hips distance apart in between the feet, hands to the hips, back of the chair if you need it. Let's take five calf raises here. I really want you warming up through those feet. Last one. And then you're gonna step forward with the right foot, bend it down slightly, step forward with the left. You can see I'm flexing my toes up, getting a little bit of warmth through those anterior lower leg muscles, front leg muscles there. Calf stretch, stretch for the back of the ankles. Two more sets here. Everything should be getting Nice and warmed up, great job. I think you might be getting a bonus one here. That's okay. All right, starting to the right side of the chair, we're gonna take this right leg, point those toes right out here to the front. Kneecap pulls up, upper body up nice and tall, abs held in. We're gonna take 10 leg lifts to the front. If you can avoid tapping the floor in between, that's okay. If you need that extra little break and drop the foot all the way down before coming into the next rep, that's okay too. 10, here we go, we're gonna start together. Good, your chair is here if you need it, you're halfway there. Nine and 10. We're gonna swing this leg, exact same thing, to the back here. You can lean forward just a touch, pull those core muscles in, pull the kneecap up, 10 leg lifts to the back. It should go nice and quick for you, halfway there. I have a soft bend in through my left knee. Last two here. Great job, take it back to the front. And same thing, straight leg out to the side, except this time instead of the toes pointing forward, you're gonna pull them up and lift with the heel. Only lift as high as you can before you start feeling like you have to shift body weight and lean over to the left side. We're gonna start counting 10 here together. Soft bend in your standing leg. Halfway there, you've got this. Core muscles pulled in. It can be really tempting to rush through these. Keep it nice and strong. Your standing leg is working too. You have your last two here. Last one, very good. Go ahead, give <laughs> that left leg a little shimmy if you need to. We're going to draw the right knee up as high as you can comfortably and kick out, pull the heel back 10 times here. Halfway there. 
Last two, last one. Set that one on down. Five calf raises just to break it up. We wanna encourage those feet to work here. You may feel the left side a little bit more than the right. It's been doing all of that good stabilization work for you. Last one here, drop it down. All right, we're going to take this right leg again. And this time we're gonna take our exercises and instead of a straight leg, we'll be doing a bent leg. So we're gonna take, bend that foot up, knee to knee, back leg lifts here with that knee bent. Again, you can lean forward a little bit, hold those core muscles in. We're taking 10 again, that's it. So you're almost all the way there already. Three more. Last one, beautiful job. If you need to, if you're not already, <laughs> go ahead, face it to the front. I don't have a lot of room behind me. Same thing, leg raises to the front, except this time we're gonna take that bent knee. Toes tap here to the front, pull the knee up and in. 10 times here with me. Great job, it doesn't have to come real high. Find your balance in your left leg. Last two here, last one. Great job, set it down. I know if that left leg is fussing a little bit, trust me, I feel it too. We have two more sets of 10 exercises and we switch it to the other side. Tap the right foot out. We're gonna pull it up and in. Give yourself one, two. Take it back out. I want you to practice balancing here. You'll feel those inner thigh muscles working. Same thing, 10 of these. And then you have one more exercise. Halfway there, try not to turn the body with the legs. You can move the arms if counterbalance is helpful. Very good. Last one here. Drop it down. Last set of 10 for this right leg. The left leg will get a break. We're going to tap. So imagine a box, right corner, left corner in the front. You're just going to lift, tap it in, tap it back. We'll count how many times we tap this front left corner. Very good. No twisting in your standing leg. Halfway there. Very good, two more. Last one here, slide it back in. Give that left ankle just a little bit of love and we'll switch it on over to the left side of the chair. Starting here, five calf raises. I want you to focus on a lot of ankle stability here. Don't let those ankles bow out or bow in. All the way up and all the way down. See if you can hold a little bit of a pause there at the top. We have two more. Last one here, very good. Send your body weight over to the right leg. The chair or your counter is here if you need it. Point those toes here to the front. Soft bend in your right leg, lift. 10 times here with me. Hold those core muscles in. Does not have to be high, but try to keep it slow. Last two, last one, beautiful job. If you need to turn it around, go ahead and turn it around. Or you can stay where you are, straight leg to the back. You can lean forward a little bit. Soft bend in your right leg. Lift that left leg here. Halfway there. Last two. Last one, great job. Now we take it out to the side, straight leg, except this time instead of pointing the toes forward, we are going to bring them up and lift with the heel. Make sure that you're not lifting so high, you have to lean the body to the right. Body stays here in the middle. Very good, last two here. 
Last one, set it down, give that right ankle a little bit of love if it needs it. We'll go back, five more of those calf raises. This is the last time you will not see them again today. Hips distance in between those ankles, send those hips forward, abs pull in, raise, lower, slow, work on developing your balance and strength. Two more. Very good, see if you can hold a pause at the top on this one. Lower it down, great job. Back to our leg lifts, except this time we're taking the bent leg variation. Left leg bends up, take it back. Press through the heel of that foot. Core muscles pull in, soft bend in your right leg. You're already halfway there. Very good, last one here. Great job, taking it to the front. Point those toes forward, pull the knee up and in, creating a nice little arch here, pulling in, extending it out. Five more. Great job. Two. And one, amazing, give it a little wiggle if you need to through the right leg. They're gonna get tired, this is a quick workout, but we are definitely working with the time that we have. Draw this left leg up, leg extensions here. This is our last two exercises. Don't lock out really stiff. As you extend the leg, feel this muscle working. Great job. Last two here. Last one, set it on down. We go back to our box. We'll be tapping from the left corner to the right corner. Count 10 times on that right corner. Here we go. Over to the front, lifting and lowering. Watch for twisting in your right leg. We don't wanna stress out that ankle or the knee. Very good, you can move the hands, take them out if you need some help with the balance. Great job, hang in here. Last two. Last one, amazing job, take that leg in. Give that right ankle a little bit of love here. Take a nice good deep breath in and exhale. Let that go slow. Step that right foot out to the front. Soft bend in your left leg. Go ahead and support yourself on the chair here. Once the muscles are tired, they don't balance as well. Flex those right toes all the way up. Softly bend forward until you have a stretch in those calf muscles. Ease it on down, roll it up. Slide that foot back in. I'm gonna get you cooled off. Get you a couple quick stretches, and that's a wrap for today. Left leg forward, toes come up, soft bend in the right leg. Ease it on down. Go ahead, start working on slowing your breathing. Point those toes down, roll it back up, step behind your chair or wherever you can comfortably and just widen out those hips side to side, nice and easy. And then start to work those hips back a little bit. You can support yourself here and gently bend the left knee, sit back into that side, keeping the right foot flat on the floor. We have a nice inner thigh stretch. Take it up and over to the right side. You wanna keep this knee out over the ankle. Don't let it start dipping in. Keep that left foot flat on the floor. Roll it on up, great job. If you have space, go ahead, just take some nice, easy butt kicks here, a little bit wider stance if you need some room. Go ahead and just shimmy to where you have room to move. You have your chair here for balance, stretching out some of the quads. Very good. We'll stretch out those hip flexors. They did a lot for you today 
as well. Go ahead, face your chair. Now, if you're working with a counter, you can use a step stool. Anything nice and easy here that you can just step up on. We're gonna step up low, high, wherever you feel like you need. And all you're gonna do here is tuck the booty under. So you will feel your straight leg, your standing leg, grow nice and tall. You're gonna take that arm on the same side, reach it up. If this is not super intense, then you are doing it perfectly. We are stretching this hip flexor very gently. This is where our abdominals connect down through the hips to the legs. This is not an area we wanna stretch out or be really aggressive with. We're not trying to get it longer than what it is already. We're trying to get it back to normal length. Step the opposite foot up. Same thing, tuck those hips forward, hold those abs in. You may notice one side is tighter than the other. Good, draw that arm up, just lengthening through the same side as your standing leg. Keeping that nice tuck forward. Very good, again, it should not be crazy intense, no red flags, warning signals. Ease it on down and go ahead, give them a little bit of a shake here. That was a quick standing leg and balance workout. You definitely felt those feet, definitely felt the ankles, thighs, and booty working. I thank you so much for joining me. Until our next workout, take good care of yourselves. Make sure that you are subscribed. Thank you for watching, and I will see you guys again soon.